Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Two Point Campus. We are in our second challenge mode of the new Halloween update. We are back in Spiffinmoor, where Nefaria Munch is ruling the campus with an iron fist and a pointy stick, a wand I'd imagine. She's cursed the entire student body with pumpkin head, turning their brains into orange mush, and she's sworn no take backs until they improve their grades. We got to take those fat headed wand wavers and make an army of genius henchmen for Ms Munch. Maybe then she'll lift the curse. Maybe. We need to improve the grades of students cursed with a reduced learning rate. Now, I had a little peek at what we were going to be expecting to get this time around, and the uh, reduced learning rate is 50%, which means these students are going to be learning very, very slow. So I'm looking at the plot here, and I'm just going to maybe take that first one, because it is the largest one. What you don't want to do, because you've got a limited budget and you can't take out loans, you really need to get the largest plot and the cheapest plot you possibly can. Like, this is tiny. This isn't going to do. We've got a few more over here. These ones were fairly big, if I remember, from the career mode, but this one is by far the biggest. And because we only have wizardry in here, we don't have dark art, so that's going to be the focus. We can't bring in any new courses. We can't take out any loans, and we just have to work with the budget that we've got. So... What's important here is going to be making sure that you're doing everything you can to increase the happiness of your student because they are then going to be able to learn quicker, improve their grades. So we're not actually looking at leveling up the students as we were in the last one. We're looking at improving grades only. You don't have to have a high level to have a good grade. So we're going to build a campus building here. We're going to make it pretty much the size of this plot and I may even take it all the way along and just do some adjustments to the actual pavement here. But for now, we'll keep it small because limited budget, we just want to get a start in. In fact, you know what? I think I'm just going to go all in. We'll bring it all the way along to the end of the plot maybe. Yeah, why not? We'll bring it all the way along to the end of the plot and then we've got plenty of space to develop into. So... As opposed to last time, where I didn't build, like, a student lounge or anything, we're going to build one this time. We're also probably going to need to put in a few more private tuition rooms than I had in the last playthrough. Because, again, students that have low grades, we're going to be able to send them for private tuition to boost those grades. All we're going to need to do is uh, get their grades high. So they can do that by attending as many private tuition classrooms as possible. And we're going to need to have plenty of them running so that we can improve the grades pretty quickly. I'm just playing around with this path here because even though it's a challenge mode, I like to make sure that my uh, canvases are looking pretty good. So we're just going to continue the theme of the uh, cobbles and the slabs and then run that all the way along. And it looks like nothing changed at all. We also got a little bit of money from selling that big statue in the middle as well. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to need to build is a lecture theatre. And, of course, you're still going to want to be able to uh, kit these out with uh, things that's going to improve the learning rate of your students because that will help the grades as well. So it's good to have a decent prestige level, maybe at least a five on them. I'm going to try and push mine up to that at least, and then we'll see if we can just add any extra bits in. The one thing you do need to be careful of, of course, is the budget. We want to get off to a good start here because the idea is we need to do this in a time limit. We've got 48 minutes for the uh, gold standard objective and uh, we'd like to attain that. We'd like to get that pretty quickly. So we have to uh, just make sure that we're on the right foot from the off and not uh, wasting our money on, on things that might actually hinder us rather than help us. So another thing, I did a little bit of uh, like research and stuff and having healthy food on campus also helps helps but the only thing that we can get healthy food from is the veggie kiosk and I don't particularly want to uh, bring in an extra assistant just to work in a healthy food kiosk if that makes sense but anyway that is our lecture theatre in place we got it up to a decent prestige level and now we'll put in our potions room now these are the expensive rooms so we can't put too much of an expenditure on this one but we are just going to make sure that we've got a decently equipped room with a good prestige level by probably putting in like one of each of these items we also have a heat requirement that we're going to need to fulfill as well which is why we're putting in radiators and torches because heat affects students happiness 
if they're not hot enough, they're not warm, they're going to be unhappy. They're not going to put in the efforts to their studies. So it's even these tiny little adjustments that you're looking to make. We only got that to prestige level three, but that's okay. Our campus level has increased. We've brought in our teacher and now we're going to put in a private tuition room. Notice I'm doing that before the library because I want a private tuition room first and foremost, because we're going to need to be using them effectively to train up as many students as we possibly can and increase those all important grades. We're not going to do any adjustments to these. We're just going to put in the basic room in hope that we get some really well qualified teachers who can push up those initial grades. If we can get about 10 A grades by the end of this first year, I'll be really happy with uh, that progress. We need another wizardry teacher and obviously we're going to have to hire in a few more to operate within these rooms. The library, we are going to push this one up as much as possible. We know we've got wizardry. We know we have a bookcase unlocked for that and that'll be a really useful thing to have in because students will be able to go off and do their assignments and improve their grades as they go as well so we're going to put in our bookcases the wizardry bookcases and all of the like records and their uh, computers and things that are required of the library then obviously we're going to have to put in some dormitories i'm probably going to use my blueprint at dormitories because they seem to be really good and the attractiveness rating is pretty high on them Obviously, we also need to just be aware that the student intake for this year is probably going to be in and around the high 20s. I am probably going to reduce my course fees to bring in as many students as possible, because if we have more students in, that's more chance of people getting A grades in or like we only have like a certain amount to get. I don't know how many that is yet because I've not started the level. I need to hire another wizardry teacher. But once we find out how many of those students we need to get an A grade, if we have more students on the campus, uh, it stands to reason that we'll have a higher chance of getting A grades from however many students we need. So that's another teacher in, and then we just need to start our academic year. But before I do that, we are going to build a... Where am I? Uh, do I need a research lab for this one? I'll put a student lounge in, but research might be one we do need to consider. Although at this point... I'm hoping, I mean, obviously, so with the research and stuff in the last one, we had nothing unlocked. It might be a different story this time around. We may have some research already unlocked. I'm putting two doors in my student lounge so that they've got easy access from whichever direction they come to the lounge in. We can have 15 students in here. I've made it nice and big so that we can just have as much capacity in there as possible. And that'll really help us get through. Uh, by the way, you may notice this is all done in real time. Uh, normally what I do is I trim down my episodes and I'm not planning on doing it for this one. I think the challenge mode things are really useful in that you can uh, really learn how the game works when you're playing them. So you work out what influences each one uh, and like each objective. Like last time we had experience generation. So we got to kind of really get the grips with uh, the library and how that works and what constitutes good experience point gains for our students and how we can like directly influence and um, make them improve and in this one we're going to learn how to boost grades and that comes with making sure that your students are happy and well looked after as well as having the like adequate facilities to improve those grades in general good teachers and stuff like that and also just remember when you're coming into challenge mode these are time-based things so don't be afraid to max out your budget these uh challenges they're not really you know that so far anyway we haven't had a challenge to create a sustainable campus like the first one we had a two-year limit this time we're looking to hit this within 48 minutes for the record and uh in my experience in playing the game 48 minutes is still around about two years so burn through your budget and really go for it in the uh, early stages of these challenges because then there's a better chance of you being able to just get that gold objective and you'll not need to do any more and you can leave the campus behind so i'm going to put in my blueprint dormitory uh, i was going to do like a little build through of this to show you what i did with it but i haven't really seen the need to because it's not perfect right now and it's uh certainly not going to be the uh be all and end all of my dormitories but basically we have two different beds because we don't get diminishing returns on the decor and a double jump bed because that seems to be very well requested we've upgraded our campus there as well so we're going to put in another potions room and then we still got plenty of budget left so we're going to be able to put in a toilet and a shower cubicle as well and that will uh, just give our students something to do well going to the toilet's a pretty essential need as is having a shower but we don't have to make them have a shower <laughs> but what i am going to do i could put in a gym actually mm. 
so yeah healthiness is really important if your students are healthy they will be able to uh work harder but i'm not willing to spend the budget on that right now i may do that later on if it looks like we're like struggling for time i'm just going to put in a load of vending machines and then a couple of like bits and pieces like the clubs so clubs what was really effective last time out was the boot club because that increases the students learning rate and the speed walking club because that helps them get from a to b a lot quicker so that's uh that's all useful stuff the other clubs uh the power nap club can be quite useful uh, but i don't see the need to put that in and the nature club definitely not also the orb club which is a brand new one i think i didn't recognize it from before so i assume it's come in with this update i haven't really checked the patch notes so i couldn't tell you if that was true or not but the orb club uh i think is part of the orb foundation from uh, two point hospital so it's really nice to see this crossover from uh, both games uh, merging into one and also the tannoy where it says doctor please return to hospital or something like that that's really funny we're going to queue up upgrades because we do have some unlocked already i'm guessing it's only tier two we may not have tier three and we certainly won't have time to get the tier three of those uh facilities unlocked so we're not going to do that we are now going to hire some more teachers to work in our private tuition though and we still haven't even started the academic year we've got still got plenty of budget left so that's going to allow me to put in a toilet and a shower cubicle as well as making sure that i've got all of these hires in and we could actually also increase our campus level again if we happen to get like a, a nice boost to that when we build those final two rooms i don't think we're going to have enough to push it up to level seven though so this might just be the uh, campus as it is but we've got good teachers in i'm going to duplicate my dormitory again i mean this is a little bit overkill i think i can only have nine students in this for some strange reason i really don't know why that was the case uh, i don't know if the double jump bed actually um, adds to the amount of capacity you can have in the room so that might be worth looking into but when i actually pull up the blueprint on there it says i can only have nine students in it which is very strange but i'm not going to argue i've got uh two good dormitories there three good dormitories sorry and that's going to be enough to cope with my initial 30 students because lowering our prices allows us to bring in more students so if only 20 well however many of those students get in um like would be really good if i can get 50 percent well 15 or 20 of those students if i can get to an a grade in the first year i think that'll be really good like i said i'm not really sure what the actual target is here but We'll just find out when we start the academic year. Just waiting for an assistant. Yes, good. I wanted one trained in library, so that's really good. And then I just need to make sure that they're not working in club recruitment. Take that off. There we go. Right. Let's start our academic year. Oh, that's a good teacher. We'll bring them in. Private tuition and wizardry. So we'll put them only working in private tuition. So we've got six teachers working on campus right now. So that's one teacher for each uh, actual course, plus the lecture theatre, and then our wonderful private tuition rooms, which are going to be the ones that really hold the key to completing this level as quickly as possible. So if you don't know, uh, in Two Point Campus, the private tuition is basically for boosting the grades of students that are failing. You can force students to go to a private tuition room, or they will naturally seek out private tuition themselves. I think it's dependent on their personalities. So, oh, we've run out of money finally. But we'll, we'll leave those three showers in there, and then we'll start our academic year and see what we can do. Oh, actually, I can... No, I can't. Right, I thought I could have done it, but I can't upgrade it. I did manage to get a level 7 in the campus, though, and that's really good. So we need 20 A-grade students on Wizardry, which I know I, I said I said 20 before, which is what would have been the ideal. Uh, I was expecting it to be a little bit higher than that, to be quite honest. So, yeah, our timer has begun with the dawning of the new academic year, and we now just have to see how many students we can get to an A-grade as quickly as possible. We've got 10 students assigned in each of those dormitories, and the attractiveness rating is still 100%, which means they're gonna bring in $25,000 worth of rent every single year. That is gonna really help us boost our finances, which are pretty low at the moment. I would like to uh, improve that shower room, uh, but other than that, we're looking pretty good. Our stuff is gonna get upgraded which will help boost the uh, academic rating of our students and we've got people joining clubs already as well so that's really really good our student lounge has a room capacity of 17 which means 13 students from this first intake aren't going to be able to uh, come in and there you go you can see that 50% less learning rate from having pumpkin head 
uh, that's really going to impact us. So it might actually be worth bringing in and uh, putting on a sci-fi film. It does increase the learning rate by a certain amount. I think it's 20%. So if we can negate that uh, pumpkin headedness as much as possible, we're going to stand a very good chance of doing this one pretty quickly. Boot Club increases the learning rate by 1%, and I think the higher level the Boot Club is, the higher that learning rate is increased. Uh, again, clubs are something I've not really looked into. I just kind of put them down and hope for the best. So that'll be interesting to see as we go. And obviously, we're going to have to wait for some assignments to be completed to see what grades our students are at. So now we are just playing a bit of a waiting game, which, when you have a time limit, is pretty difficult and uh, pretty nerve-wracking, if I'm being quite honest. This is Felicity but Bell we'll have a look. We've got some students leveling up already which is uh, nice to see and uh, that, that, that's it because we've done so much of the work in the uh, initial setup phase of things there we go we have students at risk of failing the year because of their perma pumpkin headedness they're all on f grades but we have time to improve that so let's schedule a sci-fi film now that we actually have the cash to do so i'm going to schedule a few more throughout the year just to uh, boost that learning rate. Just remember, we can only have eight students in the lecture theatre at any one time, which means not all of our students are going to get the benefit of an increased learning rate by 10%. Uh, I wonder if having an improved lectern will increase that learning rate, but as you can see here, 10% learning rate and 20% happiness, which also impacts the grades of the students as well. So we've peppered some of them in throughout the year and their students should just go there and get increased learning rates. We've got some doing assignments in the library right now and it's looking uh, pretty promising, I would say. We've got two on an A grade already there, just ticked over. I'm going to bring in another library assistant and what I'm then going to do is I'm going to have two staff members working in the library. So these guys have library management and that gives them a 5% learning boost to any students that interact with them. And uh, as well as having the wizardry bootcase, which increases the learning rate as well, uh, it also just means having two staff members in the library will allow us to uh, process any students that are doing assignments and stuff in there very quickly. So three students at risk of failing the year and uh, we're not doing too badly. Four of 20 on an A grade already at, year, at the first year and uh, the third month. This is a really good start actually we're getting a nice profit coming in probably from rent mainly what else can i do there we go we can finally hire that second assistant now and if we just head on over to our library after making sure that they aren't working in club recruitment there we go perfect our canvas level has gone up as well and we will bring in oh yeah, that, that was it, yeah. <laughs> Two assistants working in that library now, and that's really good. Our magic cauldrons have been upgraded, and I think our lectern is the only one left to do. Boot Club has 11 members, and the Club Prestige is two. I need to have a look, actually, and see if that does directly impact our students. So what we can do is we can put in some extra stuff here. So this one is going to increase the entertainment levels of our students and the happiness of them as well. And we'll put them in as well because the happier they are, the better their learning rate is going to be anyway. So they indirectly affect each other. Five of 20 now have an A grade. Obviously, this is going to be slow going. I think the main bulk of assignments start happening at around about the midpoint of the year. And uh, the students are only like judged on their grades when they hand in assignments. So as long as we have them doing them and uh, getting them handed in, we will be able to push up those grades, which is why it's really important in this level, I think, to have as many private tuitions and um, library staff working at the same time so that we can get that done as quickly as possible. We'll put on another film to increase their energy, which is the horror film, and then the action film we could put in to increase their movement speed as well. We can also put on a student lounge party, which I may well do once I've got a bit more money, just to give a little boost to the happiness of the students. And we're already halfway there. We've got 10 of 20 A-grade students, uh, eight minutes on the timer. That's really good going, actually. I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, we may not have even needed to put in this many private tuition rooms, but I think it's better to like overexert yourself rather than go into uh, too conservative, especially with these having such a small time limit. You just may have spotted a student with an F grade just finishing some private tuition there, but someone has just gone up to a C grade. 
And uh, yeah, we've got students Mark using the bookworm there as well, which is going to improve their learning rate it. as well. Sometimes and there, for some reason, I can't put these radiators in my dorms because it's blocked. And covering an event we want these radio, dormitories to be well heated because if the, the students do spend a fair bit of time in there. So it would be good to make sure that they are able to be warm and comfortable while they are using those rooms. needed in dormitory. There we go, and one more. Perfect, right, okay, we'll put another one in that little corridor as well, and one in the shower room, which I haven't yet expanded. But I don't see the need to do that right now. Love bench, so again, we'll respond to the requests of students while we have a little bit of money in the bank, because if we can answer those requests, they will get a little boost to their happiness when they've had a need fulfilled. We can put in a few more showers now, actually. I don't uh, I don't see why not. We've got the, uh, the cash to be able to do that, so that's good. Great. Right, 12 of 20 now, and uh, we're doing really well. This is going much better than the last one, actually, which took me a little bit longer, but that was because there was a constant wave of uh, invaders coming in. I'm bringing in another librarian there, as you can see, and uh, I could actually bring this one in as well. I don't have the money to, so maybe at the end of the month, we'll bring in another librarian. 14, 15 of 20 A-grade students on campus. Another lecture's just completed, which is why we've seen... Oh, we've dropped down to 12, so somebody mustn't have done too well after that lecture. <laughs> we put on a student party. Uh, we'll see if that uh, helps us get over the line. And then another sci-fi film, which we'll try and squeeze in right there in the first week of May. I'm pretty happy with this. So the, the challenge modes are actually a nice little break from the uh, general, like objective grinding of the uh, the main story slash career mode so it's quite nice to come back to these campuses and have these little challenges thrown in I'm just going to take him away from club sign up the party has begun in the student lounge 14 of 20 a grade students again there we go we're doing pretty well Okay, that's someone else just leaving the library with an A grade. Does that mean that we're going to get another one? Unless somebody, that's another A grade there. Seeing them pop up, so I think we might be... Ooh, inspirational speaking. We'll definitely bring him in if things start getting a little bit tough, but we're on 15 of 20 again. I think we may have this very soon. We've got another class about to start. Oh, there's a class halfway through completion, I think. Or is it a assignment? I think it's a class. Right, we can't afford any more extra films and stuff, so we'll just leave that as it is. Yes, there's another class ongoing. This could be it, actually. 15 of 20, if the people in that class boost their grades, we may actually do this. As long as they don't drop any grades, I'm happy. <laughs> 15 of 20, this class has fit. Oh, we've done it. <laughs> 14 minutes and 53 seconds and Pumpkin High is done. So that last uh, class that was going on, that final potions class must have been the one to take us over the line. That was really good. That was pretty, uh, you know, one, if you get a decent base to start this one off, you're flying. Keep your students happy. Get in a lot of private tuitions and make sure you have like two staff members in your library. That really does seem to help. So I may actually incorporate those tactics into the actual career mode. But I had a lot of fun playing these two challenges. Uh, I'm hoping to see more from the Two Point Studios team. Uh, in next week, we'll be going back to the career mode and proceeding with that. This was just a nice little break oh, no. to celebrate, celebrate the, the uh, Halloween exp uh, like DLC that's just come out. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So uh, thank you all for watching. This one's been fun and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you when we return to Two Point Campus. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.